A number of UK-based companies are looking to invest in Bangladesh, which can help the South Asian country continue its march towards economic prosperity. The investment opportunity was brought up by British High Commissioner to Bangladesh Robert Chatterton Dixon during his visit to the Business Standards offices on Thursday. In a discussion with TBS editor Inam Ahmed, executive editor Sharyar Khan, and managing editor Chaudhry Khalid Masood, along with a panel of our TBS journalists, the High Commissioner touched upon a range of issues, including improving Bangladesh's position in the ease of doing business index, investment opportunities, university partnerships, and benefits that can be derived from the country's capital market. Where can Bangladesh improve in the ease of doing business index? There are structural, yeah, I mean, the structural problems are, if you're a business coming in, I mean, um, you have problems, the lived experience of businesses, foreign businesses, that they have problems with the NBR, so the tax authorities, although the largest taxpayers in the country are, uh, are mostly foreign businesses, they're groups like BAT, Unilever, HSBC. I mean, these are the, these are the companies that provide, you know, the largest element of the tax base. Uh, their dealings with the tax authorities can often be problematic. Um, there are issues around uh, contract enforcement and rule of law, um, which you know, obviously are, are problematic. Um, there's issues around intellectual property and the confidence that businesses, frankly, do or do not have that their intellectual property will be properly protected. So you know, those are the sort of issues that come up in the ease of doing business. How exciting is Bangladesh as an investment destination? I think that really, if you look at what the UK the UK is really a service, you know, we're an 80% service economy. So we do have manufacturers, but we don't have, we have some companies that want to come in and set up manufacturing at scale in SEZs. There are some good examples of companies that have done that. But on the whole, the sort of companies that will provide things that Bangladesh really needs and wants as it graduates service. will be service sector, exactly. So financial I think services. financial services, health services, uh, education services. What university partnerships are in the offing? I can give a couple of examples. I mean, Queen Mary University London, which is an extremely good university with a whole range of components, including leading medical and dental schools. Uh, they're interested in coming here. Different parts of the system would need to agree on the implementation, including the University Grants Commission. And it appears at the moment that the blockage on university investment lies with the UGC. How do you tap into the capital market in the country? Capital markets here are relatively less developed. Uh, if you look at where Bangladesh is as a sort of country in transition, so, I mean, I think the LDC graduation, although it's obviously <coughs> deferred by the effects of COVID, is a massive achievement for this country. Uh, but if you're going to sustain growth in the next sort of decade, two decades, then you're going to need a lot of finance. And the best place to find finance is from the private sector. And to do that, you need more uh, highly developed capital markets. London would be a very good place for Bangladesh to turn for uh, raising private capital in, in a way that actually a very small toe has been put in the water in the form of the Pran bond. It was only 10 million. At the end of 2019, first tacker denominated bond was uh, on the London Stock Exchange, uh, launched by IFC for Pran Group. And that was only $10 million, which is obviously tiny in this context. But that's an example of how there was investor enthusiasm for finding a way for foreign investors. Obviously, what they want is to get a slice of the sort of Bangladesh growth story. And what this offers to Bangladesh, both the public finances, which actually, of course, are very conservatively borrowed in Bangladesh. There is definitely scope for more, more borrowing in, in terms of supporting you know, infrastructure investment and growth that way. 